Vocal cord nodules need to be removed very carefully while preventing injury to the surrounding tissue so that the vocal cords can continue vibrating normally after surgery. The layer deep to the vocal cord nodules is called superficial lamina propria, or short SLP, and it is responsible for allowing vocal cords to vibrate smoothly. Injury to the superficial lamina propria can cause scarring and hoarseness, and it is therefore very important to protect this layer during surgery. In this video, a 30-year-old patient was diagnosed with a left-sided vocal cord nodule that required surgical attention. Phonomicrosurgical resection of the vocal cord nodule starts with careful injection of the vocal cord. As you can see here, the SLP stretches and the vocal cord nodule gets pushed away from the layer that needs to be protected during surgery. The epithelium of the vocal cord is then incised posteriorly while the incision is carefully carried around the nodule and up to the front. The epithelium attached to the nodule is then grasped and retracted medially to open up the vocal cord nodule. The content of the vocal cord nodule is usually quite small and it might be difficult for the untrained eye to recognize it. The healthy underlying SLP, which again is responsible for vocal cord vibration, is then carefully pushed away from the base of the vocal cord nodule. Fine scissors are then used to release the scar tissue circumferentially around the nodule. The nodule is then grasped and carefully pulled off from the underlying epithelial flap. All nodule content and scar have to be removed so that the flap appears transparent at the end of the surgery. The flap is then trimmed and laid back over the vocal cord. Following this procedure, patients will have to go on voice rest for some time.